Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, my name is Sydney Olson. I'm a professional parkour athlete and a stunt woman. And today I was very fortunate to be able to come out to North Carolina, to Fort Bragg specifically, and train with the U.S. Army Golden Knights. And we are doing a lot of crazy stuff, this time doing some indoor skydiving. And if you guys haven't already seen the first video, please check that out. We are going to explore the U.S. Army aviation planes. There we go. So right now, what is this airplane that we're in? So this is a de Havilland-8. And how long have you been a pilot for? I've been flying for 11 years. And how long with the Golden Knights? So I've been with the Golden Knights for uh, two years. Okay. It's been great. It's what's, been great. What's your favorite part about working with the U.S. Army and Golden Knights? Oh, oh man. I have so many stories about the Army. <laughs> but working with the Golden Knights, I think one of my um, most treasured things is being able to travel around the United States and just um, deliver the message about what the Army has to provide. The Army has so many opportunities for, you know, advancement and to pursue your dreams. This is huge. It's crazy. What do you think as a pilot about <laughs> this plane? I think this is badass. Yeah. This is, it's really cool when they take all the seats out. Right. And yeah. Yeah. I was like, hold on to something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they want to stay on the front seats. There was quite a few of us and there wasn't enough to really work on them. All right, we're going to get to tour the Golden Knights headquarters. Uh, a, a skinny person will actually wear this during our assessment and selection oh, yes. program and they actually bring the sword out to where all of us get knighted when we graduate the uh, assessments. All these medals are from the 60s and 70s and 80s and skating was a pretty big event. Uh, really on the worldwide stage. Most of these trophies are from a discipline called style and accuracy where you jump out of a plane and you land on a target that's about two centimeters wide. It's about the size of a dime. So I'm here with Joe and we are talking about competitions with the Golden Knights. Obviously they're called the Golden Knights so they win a lot and you can tell by all the trophies that are around this room but I wanted to talk more about the details of the competition, how it compares to parkour. So we have uh, quite a few different disciplines that we compete in. Um, Eight-way formation is one of our biggest competitions right now. So there's eight men and women who, who exit the aircraft uh, holding on to each other. Mm -hmm. And they have 50 seconds to make as many different formations as they can in the sky. And it's judged by a free fall photographer who flies uh, just above the formation. Okay, and so with that competition, um, does it matter like what kind of shapes they are, or is it just making as many as you can? They are, each round has a has a specified number of formations to build. So is there any part of it that's like judged on like the creativity of this? So we do have a, a competition team, our canopy piloting team, which I used to be part of, and that's, that's flying as small parachute as we safely can and going as fast as we can across the ground. And then there is a freestyle discipline to that as well. So we can yeah. come up with our own little tricks to do across the ground. It's like a best trick competition under canopy. I love it. That's exactly yeah. what we would do too. We're giving a starting or we're given a starting point and an ending point and then like how you get there is just totally up to you. Yep, awesome. And so that's very similar and I love that. Um, but I think the difference between like being on the Golden Knights and just competing in parkour is teamwork. Like obviously you guys rely so much on each other and your pilot and just everybody involved is just plays such an integral part. Whereas like when I'm out performing, I literally just have to worry about myself. Yep. And I'm sure that's what you guys do too is part of teamwork is making sure that you're doing your job right. So now we are actually about to try some indoor skydiving and I'm very much looking forward to how different that is going to feel than the actual skydiving because I feel like I didn't have to do much but this one I know that you have to actually try a little bit harder with your body and I don't know how that's going to work out for me so let's go. <laughs> so Ace is going in there he is just doing some tricks right now stuff I will definitely not be doing. Whoa.
<laughs> Wait, it was oh, amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I have no words for that. That was the equivalent of about 10 skydives. That's awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask, how much do you think this translates to real skydiving? Like, oh. As far as body position and stuff. Very much so. So how often do you guys train indoor skydiving? Um, if we have bad weather then uh, and the tunnel is open, we'll book time, come in and train here. Okay. Our competition team spends roughly, I think it's... 53 hours a year in the tunnel um, oh, okay. training. How many hours would you say you guys are also training outdoors? Uh, I mean, we, we train five days a week, yeah. uh, weather depending. Um, I would say in a given week, we are probably actively jumping 30 hours a week. In the air, when we arch, we pick up speed. Okay. Um, if we de-arch, we actually decrease our speed. Okay. So if you took a mirror image of yourself and one was arching and one was de-arching, the de-arch individual is going to fall slower uh -huh. because they're cupping more air. That's so interesting. So. Okay, gravity is so cool. <laughs> Thank yeah, you so right. much. Not a problem, glad you had a great time. As you can see, it's a very typical day here in Fort Bragg at one of the largest army bases in the world. And I just got to do some indoor skydiving and just this whole weekend, I have been hanging out with the army and the Golden Knights and we've been doing crazy stuff. We've been jumping out of planes, we've been doing some indoor skydiving, and I've learned a lot about their journeys and why they joined the army and what kind of people they are. They're just so incredible and I feel very fortunate to have had an experience like this. So if you guys are ever contemplating what to do with your life and you're not sure, you should definitely check out the army because you can do anything. There's 200 different jobs in the army. You want to be a medic? You can do that. You want to jump out of planes? You can do that. You want to be a medic and jump out of planes? You can do that too. You can do anything. There's a job for you. Make sure to follow the link in my description.